brought to you by CFU, the power of service. More with you and I, track and field coach Dave Paulson as Panthers get fired up for the outdoor season. Competition coach uh, now getting underway here at the outdoor season. Uh, you have Isaiah Trousel, uh, redshirted, was out of eligibility during the indoor season, but has outdoor eligibility. Had a fantastic indoor season individually, though, finishing in the top three at the U.S. Indoor Championships. Yeah, Isaiah did a really great job. Um, you know, has outdoor eligibility only, so we tried to really use the indoor season to develop his acceleration phase of his of his running. And uh, Coach Smith again did a great job with him in doing that. And for him to go to the USA Championships, uh, running against some professional guys, uh, finished third, um, lowered his number two all time mark in, in school history in the 60 meters to, to 6.61, which is uh, pretty pretty quick. And so we're excited to have him back in the mix for us outdoors. You know, he's a he's a, a quadruple threat. You know, you got the one, the two. Uh, he'll dabble in the 400 for the 4x4 and also in the, in the 4x1. So another guy has a lot of versatility, a lot of experience, uh, scored a lot of points in his career. And so uh, his leadership and, and what he brings to us on the track is uh, really hard to measure. And a really bright future ahead for Isaiah Trousel. Uh, Drake Hansen uh, won the 800 meters at the Missouri Valley Conference indoors. The first 800 meter champ since Tyler Mulder went back to back. I think it was 2008 and 2009. But uh, a gutsy performance by Drake Hansen is really becoming a phenomenal 800 runner. Yeah, and his his strength is just his ability to compete, and so he's he's never out of any race he's in just because of his belief he has in himself and what he's doing out there, and for him to, to do what he did at the conference meeting against some really good competition, it was super tactical, and uh, he's a guy that can run any kind of race. If you want to try to burn him up, he's going to be right there. He's too he's too fast for that, and if you let him hang around in a tactical race, he's got the ability to, to really kick it in the last 200 meters, and he really left no doubt. I mean, he went in with the guys that had a lot uh, some significantly faster times on the whole, but I mean, he just absolutely. Uh, Put the hammer down that last 200 and, and, and there was there was no doubt in my mind with like 250 meters to go that that was his race yeah once he hit go he was off and running on the women's side sophia jungling uh back after some injuries during the indoor season uh, she'll be a competitor in the outdoors yeah for sure and so sophia a little bit uh dinged up uh through, through the indoor season and so made the decision with a couple weeks heading into the conference meet probably could have got her there to compete but just uh wasn't willing to take the risk that might have done uh to her body and what it was going to do for her outdoors and so we sat down with uh, her and the training staff made the decision to, to push uh, the rest of her season back to the outdoors and now she's you know back to training consistently and excited to see you know what she can do conference champion last year as a freshman and uh, definitely looking for her to be a big impact for us I'm coaching the short sprints for the women emily voss rylan santi kind of leading a, a pack that seems to be getting deeper and deeper each year yeah, the sprints have been a really big part of our program on the women's side going forward. Rylan uh, destroyed the school record indoors, which is about a 20-year-old record, and so for her to take that down uh, was terrific. And then, you know, Emily, she went, came in ranked 16th in the 400, got fourth place, also was a finalist in the 200, and so her range is definitely uh, something that we, we lean into uh, when, it, when it gets to the outdoors with all the relays plus, you know, the two and the four. So many highlights, it's hard to hit them all. We've got a story right now on UNI track star Carter Morton.